Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome in. My name's Amanda and this is The Connected Conduit. Um, I am a psychic and a medium and a healer and a lot of other things. <laughs> I try not to limit myself or put labels on myself, but you know, every once in a while it's good to say who you are, what you are, what you stand for and you know, all those good things. So I feel like we're all being encouraged on a collective scale to let the world see us, to let the world know us, to let the world know our gifts, our skills, our talents. It's time for us to show the world what we can do without any fear around that, okay? So this is going to be a full moon reading for September 17th, 2024. Today is a super moon um, it's the second super moon of four in a row, which is pretty cool. Four is such a beautiful number. Four in numerology is all about foundation and structure. It's about reaching milestones, a goal, having a win, a victory, things like this. It's about union, union with self. Okay, it's like congratulations. You've done really well. Okay, so this is what I channeled through before I hit record. So Spirit says, monumentous change is on its way to you. Not just little change, like monumentous change, you guys. Monumental? <laughs> is monumentous a word? <laughs> is that even a word? <laughs> am, I wait am I making up words now? Okay, sweet, right on. Um, you know, why fit into a box? Why, why, follow, why follow language? <laughs> Just make up your own, right? Anyways, sorry, I'm feeling silly. Um, get ready and get grounded and get rested, okay? Because this new phase is going to require a lot of energy from you. It's going to require that you stay balanced, centered, and focused and healthy, okay? Because whatever you're doing, it's going to require a lot of energetic output, all right? And you, you got to make sure that you're giving back to yourself. So spirit has been preparing you, okay? They're getting you ready for this moment in time. And I'm hearing, you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. It's time to shine. It's time to shine. Embrace life and live each moment in the now. Live each moment with deliberate intent towards being happy, okay? And filling each moment with love and truth and joy and all of the wondrous things that you want life to be for you, okay? Um, I see you getting onto a horse and just galloping off towards your goals and your dreams and you're free, okay? You're riding bareback. You're not in a saddle. You're not restrained. You're not holding yourself back. You're not allowing anything to hold you back or chain you to, to anyone or anything. You're free, okay? You're a free spirit. And like you're on fire. You're on fire. You are racing towards success and you're someone who has a lot of power and a lot of endurance and you've overcome many challenges, which has prepared you for this moment in time. I keep hearing the word prepare, okay? Prepare for contact is what I heard. Prepare for contact from celestial beings, your star family, angels, ancestors, your guides, whatever you believe in, whoever you've been working with in the spiritual realm, okay? And when this information comes in, Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. It's calling to you. Trust your instincts. Trust your gut. And then take action on that. So these celestial beings are coming through and they're going to contact you in order to prepare you for your life's purpose. They're going to prepare you by enlightenment, growth, upgrades, new ideas, new inspiration, and they're going to prepare you for the spotlight. They're going to prepare you so that you're feeling confident enough to be seen and heard, okay? So today signifies the end of a very difficult cycle in your life. It is done. It is done. Signed, sealed, delivered. It's done. It's over. And now you can look to the future with a smile. <sighs> what a relief. <laughs> what a relief. What a slog it's been for you, okay? Spirit says that there's going to be two people who show a lot of interest in you romantically. One is good for you, the other is not. One is karmic to you, and the other is a true love. 
all right? And they know that you have it within you to choose the right person, but it's imperative you listen to your heart and trust your instincts in your gut when it comes to these two people. Some of you may even choose to be single, okay? I'm picking up on many of you. You're, you're getting into the flow of being by yourself. You kind of like it. <laughs> you don't have to answer to anybody. You, you know, you can just go do whatever you want to do. You don't have to worry about, you know, anyone else pleasing anybody else. You know, you've got a huge bed to yourself. <laughs> There's so many perks, all right? Anyways, I'm just getting that. For some of you, you, you might not even be interested in love right now, but I'm telling you, you're going to be pulling in a lot of people who are interested in loving you, okay? Um, but it's up to you. It's up to you wanna, what you want to do and who you want to choose here, or if you even want to go down that route right now. Okay, and then I heard this very clearly. Step out of the shadows. Step out of the shadows and prepare to be seen. Ooh. I don't know why I said that like a spooky ghost. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Halloween's coming up. I'm excited. I love the fall. I love Halloween. I love it all. Okay. So... Let's see who wants to come through, what Divine Master is working with you, what messages do you need to see and hear at this time. Hanuman! Hanuman always comes through in my readings. You guys are spiritual warriors. You are devoted spiritual warriors. And you're very closely connected to the Divine. And you've come into union with self and you recognize the fact that you are God, right? We are all one. We are all connected. <clears throat> we are all divine. Love is God. God is love. You are love. Therefore, you are God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's all coming back to me now. It's all making sense. Joal Cool, Divine Mission enlightened action make choices from the heart yes 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 that's exactly what was coming through in the channeled message for you guys so <clears throat> the celestial beings or the divine are preparing you with enlightenment right it says enlightened action and i was also channeling through that it's imperative for you to listen to your heart and it says, make choices from the heart right here. So that message is 110% confirmed. Listen to your heart when it's calling to you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. Hilarion, divine emergence. Be seen. Let the world know your gifts. <gasps> I also channeled through that information for you. So, wow, you guys, are you seeing this? Okay, this is clarified for you. You're being prepared for the spotlight, okay? So I opened up this reading saying that spirit really wants us all to get out there, to be seen, to be heard, to let the world know who we are and what we can do to share our gifts, our skills, our knowledge, our love, our light with the world and let it be known. Let the world know who you are, what you stand for, what you can do, what your services are, what, what, um, yeah, like what you can do, what your skills and your gifts are. Wow. And he's green. This card is green, which is all about the heart chakra. Listen to your heart. Follow your heart. You're a heart-based person. Be seen. Let the world know your gifts. So if you're not in the spotlight right now, you guys, get ready. Because you're about to step out of the shadows, into the light, into the spotlight. Whoa. We have the blue beings come out. So 
Mm -hmm. Light transmission, wounds healed, important information charging up. So yes, celestial beings such as the blue beings may be coming through as well to help prepare you for your light work, for your mission. And one of the ways they're going to do that is by charging you up, energizing you, giving you important wisdom and knowledge, helping you heal your wounds so that you can turn around and help others. Okay. And you don't have to do anything spiritual per se. I mean, you could do anything. You are limitless, but we can always, you know, channel information. We're all spiritual beings in a human form. So we all have the, the ability to connect, right? And bring through information from the divine. But what we choose to do with that information or that knowledge is different from person to person, right? So you could be an artist, singer, musician, mechanic, hairdresser, baker, architect, doctor, healer. Okay. <laughs> Want me to take all these? Okay. The Lemurians, clairvoyance activated, psychic awareness, sensitivity, trust your intuition. Okay, so I was also channeling that through, you guys. It's really important for you to trust your instincts, trust your gut, and listen to your heart. You're very psychic. You're very, very tapped in. Your psychic senses are developing at this time. You have a very strong clairvoyance, which is clear seeing, okay? Your third eye is just, boosh, super open right now, okay? As is your crown chakra. Lady Nada, expanded heart, openness, liberation, let yourself love and be loved. This is so beautiful, my heart space is like on fire, you guys. Somebody is in love with you, okay? And if you haven't met this person yet, they are on your path, okay? You're going to encounter them when you step into this leadership role or when you step into your divine mission or whatever it is. Some of you have already met this person and others of you are going to meet them in the near future here, all right? And like they're going to love you. This is a divine love, a very, very, very special, special love. But you've had to get to the space where you were open to receiving that love. And it started with you having to heal and recognize your own worth and pour into self-love and self-care first. And then once you did that, it's like you're able to open up to other people, welcoming other people into your life. And I'm really drawn to the word liberation because I saw you on a horse galloping off and you are free, right? You're free. You're liberated. You're successful. You're powerful. You have the ability, the ability to endure and overcome. And you've done so with so much grace, so much grace and dignity. And we have Bridget, inner fire. Let your passion lead you to your purpose. Yes, and I also channeled out, you're on fire. You're free. You're on fire. Success is yours. You're on fire. Inner fire. It says so right here. <laughs> your soul is on fire. Girl, you're on fire. Okay, you could be a guy. It doesn't matter. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. Whoa, whoa. You're smashing it. You're smashing it. Okay, you should be very, very proud. So follow your heart. Follow your passions. That is what leads to the greatest and highest good for you and everyone else on the planet. It's what leads to success and alignment. Beautiful. I'm going to pull some tarot as well. King and Queen of Cups, yeah, you have love coming in. You have a divine counterpart on their way to you if they're not already in your life, okay? You guys are both very psychic, very sweet, very sensitive. You're both empaths. And I feel like you have a mission here together. Um, <clears throat> it's like your union is going to light up the world if you choose 
to unite with this person because you do have free will. And some of you are like, I don't know, you're like loving the single life or something. <laughs> I'm just really getting that. You know what's funny? It's like when, as soon as you let go of wanting to have a relationship, that's when the people show up. As soon as you're like, I don't want love. It's like, that's when love comes knocking on your door. <laughs> so ironic. Anyways, six of cups. Interesting how I said that's when love comes knocking on your door. Because the six of cups represents somebody coming back around. And for about half of you watching, the person who's in love with you, you've met them <clears throat> in the, like a while ago. And like they're coming back around, they're circling back around for a second shot with you and they may actually knock on your door. Come and knock on my door, come and knock on my door, I'll be waiting for you. Okay, so the Six of Cups represents a past life soulmate, a really sweet and tender, innocent love. Reunion. You're having reunion with this person, whether it is, you know, a reunion in this lifetime or this is someone that you've had a past life with and you have not met them yet. But when you meet again in this lifetime, it's going to be a reunion. Okay. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Even I feel a little confused. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Why am I feeling so, this reading, I don't know, I just feel silly and giggly and goofy and lighthearted. Um, this person might bring that out in you. They might bring out that inner child and make you feel really uh, safe, okay? You guys might find that you laugh a lot together or you giggle a lot or you tell jokes or, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm seeing you guys tickle one another and I think that's really cute and you're both laughing. You're, you're trying to find each other's tickle spot. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. It's it's in a very innocent and sweet way that I mean that, okay? Don't let your mind go into the gutter. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't stop smiling and I'm blushing. This person's going to make you really happy. You're going to fall in love pretty hard. You might be saying, no, I don't want love. I'm not looking for love. And then this person comes in and you're like, shoot, I'm in love. Yeah, look, two of cups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're gonna fall in love even if you don't want to you're gonna do it two of cups so this represents a soulmate partnership okay if you're not looking for love you guys this is just you coming into alignment with your soul's purpose okay what else what else the five of pentacles so you've been through a lot you've been through a lot of challenges there's been loss you struggled with feelings <clears throat> of like low self-esteem and lack a lack consciousness but you've healed that and one of the ways you've healed that is by embracing your inner strength your inner fire and getting reconnected to your own soul and building up your confidence. You've also been reconnecting to the divine. And when you were feeling down on your luck, broken and weary, tired, exhausted and drained, when you were having a lot of struggles here, the divine showed up for you, okay? Source, God, whatever you believe in, they showed up for you and they saw you through those difficult times. Angels surrounded you, temperance. They helped lift you up, get you back on your feet, and get you aligned with your soul's mission. Yeah, the fool. So I feel like you're going to be taking a risk, a leap of faith, towards your heart's desires here. Okay? Ooh, the emperor. Oh my goodness. So you're meant to be a leader. Wow. Wow. You could be opening up your own business. You could be a teacher, someone who runs a large group, a manager, a boss, a guide, anything here. Divine masculine energy. You're taking control of your life. 
And I feel like you're going to take a, a risk, a leap of faith in terms of putting yourself out there and being seen. You're going to take charge, take control. Yeah, King of Wands. Okay, you're getting fired up. You're feeling brave, bold, confidence, capable. Ace of Swords. Wow. So the blue beings are coming through and they're going to give you some sort of a download that's going to help you break through boundaries, break through blocks. Okay, this is important information that's coming through that's going to lift you up, inspire you, help you heal, and then charge up your batteries so that you can go out in the world and help others. Wow. <clears throat> This is a breakthrough moment for you. The High Priestess is going over top of Clairvoyance activated, you guys. Psychic awareness, sensitivity, trust your intuition, and the High Priestess. I mean, come on, you can't make this stuff up. That's amazing. Because the High Priestess is very connected to the Divine, very clairvoyant, very psychic, Okay, clairvoyance is only one of many psychic senses that we have. But you have a very <clears throat> strong ability to um, predict things. You have strong visions. You have a keen sense of awareness. You're very sensitive. Okay, so you could do something with your spiritual gifts here. Some of you are meant to be like psychics, mediums, an oracle, a prophetess, a healer, a, a Reiki practitioner, or you're meant to channel this information and turn it into a work of art, or um, some people even channel information from divine beings and, and they write out, they write novels, they write books of wisdom, teachings that are meant to be shared with humanity. Who was that? Was it Silver Birch? I'm going to look that up after but there was a medium who channeled through the teachings of silver birch i believe don't quote me on that but i'm gonna look into that and um if i find it ooh 2222 on the timestamp if i find that i will put it in the description box below because actually i've been meaning to read that myself so you might want to read that as well that might inspire you yeah, the hermit. It's like you're <clears throat> you're sitting on some really really good information. <laughs> some very powerful information that has the power to change people, empower people, to guide people through their spiritual awakening and their ascension. But it is absolutely pivotal that you trust what you're receiving. You trust the information that's coming through. Okay, and that's just going to take time, it's going to take practice, it's going to take faith and trust. So the more that you develop your gifts, and the more you practice, the more you're going to feel like you can trust them. Okay, because that's one of the reasons why the Tarot is wonderful. Um, it, it helps confirm the information that you're receiving. It's a tool, right? It's not the be all end all. Because when it comes down to it, you always trust your intuition over the cards always, no matter what. But the cards are a great way to connect with your intuition and with the information that you're channeling. Okay, so a lot of times, like for me on a personal level, I'll sit in meditation, I'll bring through information, just like I did before this reading, you know, I channeled, I opened up, I said, spirit, what would like to come through? And blah, 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 I write it all down. And then here I am pulling cards, which back up and clarify and confirm the information that I've channeled through. And so in a sense, it's like clarifying and confirming that information um, and confirming my intuition. So you guys can do the same thing if you feel called to do that and just practice. And the more you do this, the more confirmation you get, the more empowered you feel. And you're like, yeah, I am receiving information and it is accurate and I can trust it. Okay, and the more you do that, the less you're going to need the cards. Okay, because in all honesty, 
the cards can actually hinder your mediumistic development or your psychic development or your spiritual development. Okay, it can. If it, Cards can become like a crutch, all right, that you can become too heavily reliant on. So it's really important to remember that first and foremost, you must always trust your inner voice, your heart, your intuition above all else, even the cards, okay? But it's a great way to, to connect and be inspired and receive more messages, right? Things like that, but... The Four of Wands. Was I? I think I was bringing through the Four of Wands in this reading as well, you guys. Where it's like um, a foundation, celebration, reaching a major milestone in your life. Okay, so by following your inner fire, your inner desire, it's going to lead to a victory. You, you you have reached a major milestone and now it's like you have the next milestone in your sights. Okay, it's like off to the races again. Here we go. And some of you may be moving into a new home. Some of you may be getting engaged or married. <laughs> um, you might be moving in with this person who, who comes towards you with this past life soulmate. You might meet this person through work. Or when you start to do something new or when you take a leap, a risk towards something else in your life. Um, I don't know. It's going to depend on your, you know, on your situation here. But it's like today signifies the end of a very difficult cycle for you in your life the five of pentacles those days are over the days of lack and limitations and fear are over and you are stepping into trust and faith and you're having a victory in your life you're having clarity over who you are and what you need to do and what your mission is and what are the next steps you should take and you're just you you're you're amazing. You're smashing it. You're doing wonderful. Okay. Um, <clears throat> anything else, spirit? Yeah, the devil. You've overcome devil energy. You're pushing beyond fear. Lack, limitations. You've beat devil energy. You are victorious. You've come out on top. You've pushed past a lot of blocks, fear, worry, doubt, anxiety, lack, limitations, a consciousness of lack. You've pushed through like financial struggles. And the reason why you've done that is because you've stepped into this leadership role. Okay. You took control of your life. You took control of your thoughts. You took control of your devil energy here. However that looks or whatever that was for each and every one of you is going to be slightly different. Okay. And yeah, it's like you're beating fear and you're pushing boundaries and you're allowing yourself to express yourself freely without holding yourself back. Oh, oh, okay. So Spirit just said that this is linked to what I was bringing through about the two people showing interest in you. You have one person that's karmic and you have one that is a true love. Okay, so the devil represents the karmic person coming towards you and the six of cups represents the true love coming towards you. Okay, what do you want to say about this devil? Okay, because you brought them through for a reason. The Queen of Cups, they could be a water sign. This person could be quite clingy. They could be quite obsessed with you, but in the wrong way, um, in an unhealthy way. I don't even know if there is such a thing as a healthy obsession. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. Um, tell us more about this karmic person. Oh, the Five of Swords. 
so they are narcissistic okay there's someone who likes to compete there's somebody who plays mind games this is someone who is heavily heavily attached to their ego you know i'm sorry to say this but this is what i just heard um they like how you look they're not they don't care about who you are on the inside they're, they just like how you look. They're attracted to you. This person is surface level, okay? So there's chemistry, there's attraction here. They like how you look, but they don't they don't give two hoots about who you are at a soul level. They're not going to be someone who appreciates you for you. This person won't be able to see you for you. And this is the type of person who who will want to win at all costs they may argue or start arguments or start conflict or chaos in your life and you, you just don't need that anything else about this devil person this karmic person the two of swords they're a block for you and you're being encouraged to say no okay because the two of swords is an energy of no block so This person doesn't see you for you. They see how gorgeous or handsome you are, but it ends there. This is not a deep person. They won't be able to go to the, to the depths of your soul with, no. They won't be able to go to the depths of your soul. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, they're not a deep person. They're not going to get who you are at a soul level. And they're not the one for you. They're not right for you. This person could create blocks in your life, stagnancy in your life. They may cause a lot of <clears throat> confusion. You, you may feel conflicted when it comes to this person or something like this. <clears throat> Pardon me, you guys. Hang on. I just need to take a swig of tea here. My throat's a little... I've been talking a lot today, so my throat's a little raw. Okay. Three of Swords. Yes. So this could lead to heartache, pain, and disappointment. That's why Spirit says, trust your gut. Listen to your intuition when it comes to the, these people coming towards you. What would you like to say about the Six of Cups person, the true love? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Spirit, could you say it any plainer? They're like, Amanda, you want to know about the true love? We'll tell you about the true love and we'll give you the lover's card, the card of true love. Need we say more? <laughs> I love you, Spirit. I love you so much. You make me laugh. <laughs> you guys, this Six of Cups person is your true love. Six of Cups and the lovers. This is a high-level love who is coming towards you. Um, they're going to cherish you. They're going to honor you, support you, protect you. They see you. They value you. They want to um, live life with you, do life with you. You're going to have a lot of things in common with this person and they're going to make your heart sing and soar and open. This is the person for you. This is your true love. Trust it. Trust it when it comes in. They could be a Gemini, but they don't have to be. I feel like bursting into tears. I feel like they're happy tears. Okay? When this person comes into your life or when this person comes back around for a reunion, you will shed tears of joy here, okay? It's going to make you feel so happy, so warm. There's a lot of heat. There's a lot of passion, attraction, desire, chemistry, magnetism, excitement, beauty, wonder, grace, liberation, passion, a lot of intense conversations, um... And the boom boom's going to be really, really good. <laughs> like, really, really good. Like, out of this world good. Okay? You put the boom boom into my heart. 
Wham, anybody? Wham? Can't remember any of the other lyrics. That's all I remember. You put the boom boom into my heart. Okay. So this is the person you want. The person who puts the boom boom into your heart. And this is the person who you want to turn away from. Look at this energy. This person thinks you're amazing, which you are. They're attracted to you. But, oh, they're a narcissist. They're a narcissist and you're an empath. You're the queen of cups, who is a sweetheart, an empath, someone who's very sensitive and psychic and open and caring and giving and generous. And then in comes the narcissist, the five of swords. Why? because there, there's such a thing as the narcissist and the empath paradigm, where the narcissist is attracted to the empath because the empath is really nice, and the narcissist thinks that they are going to come in and control the empath and have power over the empath. But here's the thing. You are an evolved empath. You have learned how to say no, right? You've learned boundaries. You've learned how to choose you. You've learned how to put people into their place and you know your worth and you're not going to settle for less. So you're going to say no to this person because as you know, intuitively, like it's just going to lead to heartache that they're karmic to you. Um, they're not good for you. They are unhealthy and they're going to cause issues, pain and blocks in your life. They're going to cause a lot of stress and headaches and mind games because they're a narcissist. Okay. So you are an empath and empaths attract narcissists like flies to honey or I don't know do flies even like honey <laughs> like bees to honey oh. anyways yeah don't let them fool you don't let them fool you because this is a sheep in wolves clothing this is a sheep no this is a wolf. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. What is wrong with my brain? It's like backwards day. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing is what I'm trying to say. So they're evil, but they may come towards you like super sweet and nice and love bomb you and say all the right things. But deep down inside, they're, they're dark. They're dark and they don't mean well. Okay, so let's get this person out of here because you are so empathic and intuitive. You're going to sense this narcissist from a mile away and you're going to trust your gut when it comes to this so okay this is basically the message you guys let's um let's just do a couple sort of lights and call it call it a day you put the boom boom into my heart you make the sunshine dun 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 Trust your angels. Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true and trust that heaven has a perfect plan. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let it go. This situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. Your vibration is rising. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. Yeah, you're going up, 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 baby. You're going up, 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 and you're going to be aligned with higher vibrational things. For some of you, this karmic person who's coming back around, sorry to bring them up again, but Spirit just wants me to, to point out that for some of you, that's like an X who is toxic, who wants a second chance with you, and you're going to have to let them go, like, very clearly, okay? Um, so, yeah, trust. Trust fall. The fool. Take that leap of faith and know that it's all going to work out. Heaven has a perfect plan. Go for it. Follow your heart. Let go of fear or feelings of lack or unworthiness once and for all, if you haven't already. Let go, let go, and get ready to be seen. 
and heard. Get ready to unlock hidden secrets within. You're a teacher. You're a natural teacher. You're a natural born leader and a natural born teacher. So yes, enlightenment, growth, upgrades, you're going up and you're being prepared for your life's mission. And it's time to step out of the shadows and be seen. Okay, and that moment is coming. It's coming very soon. And get ready for the love of your life. Like, hello. They're just going to treasure you, you guys. Aw, I'm hearing you make me want to be a better person. You challenge me in all the right ways. You've opened up this person's heart space. I'm hearing, I didn't believe in love until I met you. I didn't believe in love. I didn't believe in true love until I met you. Okay, or this might be, yeah, something that they open up and share with you in the near future here. So, oh, wow, cool, cool reading, you guys. You've done really well. Only good things to come. You're going up, baby, up, up, up. Up, up, up can only go up from here. So be seen. Let the world know your gifts. Take charge. You're a leader. You've got this. Take that leap of faith. You, you have very strong clear cognizance where you know what you know but you don't know how you know it you just know what you know and that's it <laughs> that's clear cognizance where you just know but you you don't know how you know you just know that's a very strong psychic sense that you have okay in case in case you didn't know in case you didn't know now you know you know all right all right, you guys, I think I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I, pro I approach. <laughs> I approach. Okay, I guess somebody's going to approach you soon. Everything I say is for a reason, even when I don't make sense and just random words pop out of my mouth. It happens for a reason. Um, someone is about to step out of the shadows and approach you, I guess. So get ready for that. <laughs> okay. Um... I hope this brought you clarity around your situation and I hope this reading resonated with you and all of those wondrous things. I'm wishing you all the best on your journey. I'm sending you all the good vibes and remember, stay aligned, my friends, stay aligned.